Mike here. Uh, today I want to talk about something I have never used before, and that is a case for a watch. Um, I was looking at uh, some cases for my Z Flip, and this happened to pop up, and I thought, well, that's really interesting. I really like the way that looks, so I wanted to try it out. Yeah, this is one of the, uh, the Spigen cases. This is the Rugged Armor Pro version, and this is for the Galaxy Watch for Active, specifically for the Active. Um, so let's take a look at this and check it out. I'm really curious to see how this is going to work. All right, let's open the box. Okay, that's it. Not much in the box. You think it would be? And then let's see, we got it in the plastic here. Pull it out. All right. So this is what I thought was really interesting. Is it? Uh, whoa. It. Um, comes with the bands and everything built right in so what I'm really curious is how easy it is to switch it out because I do like to switch my bands out but I do uh, some rugged stuff sometimes and so I thought this would be pretty neat to have uh, the watch in a case so uh, it's definitely some kind of plastic um, probably plastic molded I really like it though looks pretty good so far um, let's see what the watch looks like in it all right let's pop these guys off real quick uh, if you haven't used the new Samsung uh, watch bands, they are a little bit more difficult to get undone. I don't know why that is. Well, I do know that why that is. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> it's because of that weird uh, flange thing right here. It makes it a lot harder to, to get in there. Anyway, I digress. All right, so let's see. I think it just pops in there. Let's see. That's not the right direction. Uh, buttons, buttons. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, line those guys up and just push it in there, push it in there. All right, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Let's see what we got here. All right, installation looks like buttons on the right side, push, top in, then the bottom. Okay, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong here. I'm trying to do the whole thing in one shot. Let's see if we can get that, get that top piece in there. All right, maybe we need some practice. Oh, there it goes. Yep, probably just need a little practice on that. Um, there you go. It sits in there pretty good. Looks like uh, you'll be able to use the sensor against your skin just fine. Uh, buttons line up pretty good. Uh, the front is looking pretty sharp. I like the way that looks. Uh, and then this side here is just fully protected. Um... Ah, there it is. So there's a little bit of little chunk right there where you can you can use um, the rotating crown, rotating bezel. I'm sorry. Uh, there's no other place I can feel on the front, um, so that's going to be the only spot to use it. Uh, that should be interesting. Hmm. All right, let's see what it looks like on. Oh yeah, I can tell it's definitely definitely some definitely meaty. It's definitely a meaty watch now. It's uh, very uh, Casio. Oh, okay. Nice thick band. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it does have the locker uh, on the on that part to lock it in so it doesn't fall out. And that's it. That's where, oh, wow, that looks pretty good. I like that. Look at that. Um, that's what it looks like with the watch on. Let's see. I'm uh, right-handed here. Let's unlock this so we can spin this guy. Um, that is a little bit of a bummer. I don't know if I like that. I would prefer it on this side here, but it does work the way it's designed. It's spinning around just fine in there. It feels good. Um, I guess I could probably get used to that. Wow, that's pretty great. I like that. That feels pretty good on the wrist there. Um, got a little gap there, no problem, depending on the size of your wrist, but man, that looks meaty. I like meaty looking watches. Uh, I would probably always wear a, a Garmin Phoenix uh, type watch if it if it just had Google Assistant. Not Google Assistant. Dang it! Um, if it just had Google Assistant, I probably would wear a Garmin because uh, I use these a lot for the fitness stuff. But nice, big, wide, chunky band. Wow, I really like this. I like this a lot better than I thought. I've never, never even thought about getting one. So um, I think it looks pretty good. I definitely think it's going to protect your watch if you... If you smack it anywhere, um, it definitely puts it underneath. Let's see what the swipe. Uh, it swipes just fine, even with that on there. But doesn't that look like a Casio G-Shock now? Wow. 
that's pretty great. All right, let's see how hard it is to take it off. Because like I said, I don't know if I'd want to wear this all the time. Put that off. Oh, see here, pull that out. Nice uh, metal, metal clasp there. It's like a softy hard rubber, but it's definitely durable. I can't really explain it. Uh, it's not like how, you know, these silicone ones feel. It is definitely a harder plastic. Um, definitely feels tougher. All right, I think we just pop it out. And let's see here. Boom, boom. Yep, pops right out of there. Uh, piece of cake. Throw your new bands on there and off you go. And then when you're done, pop your bands off and put that. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this this would probably take me a little bit of practice to figure out how to do this well. I am not getting it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yep. Piece of cake. Right on there. Definitely like it. I don't know if it would trap dust or anything in it, but I don't think so. It is definitely durable. If you definitely need to uh, beef up your durability uh, of your watch, even though it is mil spec, but just because it's mil spec doesn't mean uh, we want we want to scratch it or anything, right? It just means it's going to be tough, which means it's still going to work even after some abuse. Um, but I don't know. I really like it. Cool. See how it works out. I think I'm actually going to wear this for a little bit. I didn't think I would, but I think I will. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks for uh, staying to the end, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.